Hey everyone, this is Relic. And I'm Nagatron. And we're watching G.I. Joe vs. TNB in round 2 of Season 1 for the World Tanks Classic League. Let's get it going. Alright, starting out here, G.I. Joe is running with two 50Bs, three I7s, a T110. So, really fast force there. I expect to see some good pushing with that. Uh, we also have a batch shot and E50 for mediums, a T-50 for light tank, and one 261 for artillery. So I'm expecting we're going to see a big south rush here with lots of fast tanks taking over that bull. T and B is running 250Bs, an IS-7, two T110s, two bat shats, type 59, and then two tier 7 arty. Not too sure about the object 212. Uh, it hits hard, but it's very slow moving. Yeah, I'd expect that same setup, they're probably going for the bull as well. Although we haven't seen anything yet. I'm when surprised to... brought almost all of their team into the donut at this point. Yep. Even their artillery is way down in the south there, so they're leaving that, uh... Their cap totally undefended at this point. And it looks like TNB only sent the T-59 over here, so I'm expecting the rest of their team is probably pushing another way. Oh, here we go with a middle push. A 50B and a bat chat, two 50Bs. Probably another bat chat about the light. Or possibly already passed. Looks like they're trying to get up to their cap as quick as possible. Wind was trying to get that under control with that T-50 there, but... Needed to have the guns in position to respond accordingly. Uh, yep. Starting to run some French tanks back here. Looks like G.I. Joe ran into a, another heavy over there. What is it? The, uh, the T-110 on the north side. I'm kind of expecting all the French tanks are up here capping, and probably the rest of the tanks are back there to defend. I like this right here. They're pressing both directions at once. Keeping all their main heavy tanks, the IS-7s and the T-110, going towards the enemy cap because they can handle a little bit of a brawl. Trying to get that artillery out, do some damage, maybe get on cap themselves. Uh, meanwhile, sending all their fast tanks back to reset cap, which, especially against French tanks, is going to be incredibly easy. Oh, great arty hit there. Multiple, multiple damaged. Yeah, the position of that 261 is perfect for this type of situation. And they are just oh. getting torn apart. I didn't realize that DNB had sent their IS-7 and T-110 through the north at the same time. I, I don't necessarily agree with that move, uh, but had they gotten in cap before the defenders arrove, or, or, arised, arrived, then... It would have been a much better plan than it is right now. Yeah. They'd had a lot more guns to try to stop these people trying to stop them from gapping. That did not work out. Yeah, they just got crushed on the cap here. IS-7 left. Another that, great shot of their artillery. Yeah, that 261 is really knocking them out. It looks like both back north of the cap, all they have is a bat shot left on the fence there, so we're going to see some capping by G.I. Joe here in a second. Though it's not probably going to matter here at a moment. Yeah, G.I. Joe made really good calls. I, I really like the strategy they ended up using on this. A lot of flexibility. They had all their tanks in the bowl there, so you know they're going to gain control of it. And with the way they swung around their French tanks there, it didn't really matter that they left everything out of the cap. No, that T-50 lighting that crew was everything they needed in order to respond correctly. Uh, that's how you know you brought a balanced team. Yep. Especially in these 90-point competitions. Adaptability is the name of the game. Exactly. Well, grass the G.I. Joe. Great fight. 